let's get another check of weather this morning with John Strabel. John, like I mentioned, it's windy over multiple bridges today. What else are you seeing out there on the ground? So we've got lots of changes in this forecast, Raina. Something that you won't be able to miss today is that cooler feel to it. And yes, the winds, as you mentioned, certainly a contributing factor to the cooler feel that today is going to offer up for us. Looking outside right now at the East Bay, there is some low cloud cover sitting right above Berkeley. Not as much of this cloud cover as what we saw yesterday at this time. Visibility is actually holding up just fine for most areas, so that's not something you have to worry about as you get onto roadways. <clears throat> the thing that you really are going to have to account for today is the cooler feel partly because of some really windy conditions. Winds will have an impact as you cross your bridges. Raina's is going to tell you in a second about how wind advisories are seen on so many of our bridges this morning. And one look at our future cast of wind gusts and well, it's pretty easy to see why. It's not just going to be a windy morning, but well into the afternoon today. Winds steadily from the west and northwest at around 30 miles per hour at times. And that is going to have a big impact on the feels like temperature. So not just a jacket this morning, but likely a jacket that you want to keep around well into the afternoon today, trading in those uh, shorts and t-shirts that we had just a couple days ago. Futurecast shows our cloud cover this morning, a return of sunshine later today, times of low clouds here and there. Wednesday will actually be much the same as today, just a little bit on the calmer side as far as winds go on into tomorrow. 50s and 60s for your daytime highs in San Francisco and then elsewhere on the peninsula. We're not talking near as many 70s on the map as yesterday, and we're not talking any mateys anywhere in sight. We saw so many 80s on Sunday, yesterday a few less, and today, well, they're gone. Campbell and San Jose each at 68 degrees for your highs. Hayward down through Fremont, on over to the Tri-Valley, all in the 60s. Some of these same areas were 80s just two days ago, so that's a solid 20-degree drop in temperatures. Concord and Walnut Creek, as well as much of the North Bay, still hanging on to the 70s, some of our more mild spots compared to the rest of the Bay Area. As for your next seven days, daytime highs will remain in the 70s for your inland average highs through Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. A comfortably cool way to end the week with lots of sunshine. The weekend ahead brings daytime highs cooling into the 50s and 60s with a chance of rainfall and a much needed chance of rain at that returning into Sunday. Raina. Don, thank you for that. All right, let's get a look at your